So in the previous week, we have learned about the concept of the invitation. Let's take a look once again that the invitation is a verbal or written request to someone to do or go somewhere. Yeah. Let's highlight the word request. Okay? A request to someone. It could be in the written form or the oral form. Okay, and last week I have also told you that there are two types of invitations, formal and informal. A formal invitation means that the invitation itself is official. Yeah, and will usually be greeted with a reply in an equally formal written form. So when the formal institution or let's say uh, formal person sends you the formal invitation, they are expecting you, yeah, expecting you to reply it in the formal way as well, whether you will come to the occasion or not. Okay, that is the concept from this slides. Yeah, that is the point that we can highlight. Different with the informal invitations. Informal invitations can be written or spoken, and it usually given to friends, family, or others in the informal way. So it's kind of flexible for someone to send the invitation to others. Someone doesn't need your formal reply because in some cases or in some occasions, he or she just invited you, uh, let's say orally, yeah, not using the formal invitation. Okay, that's what we, that is, the point that we have learned last week and some expressions that we could see in inviting someone and then responding to the invitation also in refusing or declining it, you can take a look to this expression on your screen. Yeah, this is very easy. Last week, I have also mentioned that formal invitations can be the form of invitation to the wedding ceremonies, graduation event, or store opening ceremony as well. And the format of the formal invitation itself including the name of the person who was invited and then the request to participate, the name of the person invited, what is your purpose in making the event, and then when will it be held? Yeah, when will it be held? The location yeah, or the venue and then, like I said before, the request for your answer. Usually, it contains, or let's say, 
it represents this format, which is the first one is you have to know the address, yeah, the address of your guest, and then the salutation. Salutation is greetings, yeah, dear Mr. Dear Miss. Okay, and then the the body of the invitation itself for who and whom or to whom, and then the purpose of your invitation. Yeah, why did you invite the person to your event? And then the date, time and place, RSVP. Yeah, or we can say it's it's like a request to reply. And then the signature of the invitee, yeah, the sign. Informal invitations are usually distributed to family or close friends, yeah, family or close friends for more casual events, such as what, sir? birthday invitations, or you can invite someone to have the dinner together. Okay, that is the informal invitation. And in the informal invitations, must, must at least contain the following information. The sender, yeah, you as the sender, or the organizer of the event, the purpose of the event be held and a number that can be contacted to inform attendance. Yeah, so it's not as complicated as the formal invitation. It's more simple. Okay.